Hey guys, uh, we have been doing a few things. We've been putting our bucks out here the last few days. Uh, I'll tell you something I've learned about putting bucks and rams uh, out of your breeding season. If you got a few herds scattered around, uh, we do, and then you don't want to take all your bucks out the same day. Um, that way, if you hit bad weather, a rainy spell, um, whatever it is, well, you don't have everybody that's right in the heart of breeding se or, or kidding season, I should say, uh, at the same time, and that bad weather could just devastate you. So I like to stagger them out. We put some bucks out last week, a uh, herd of about 130 or 40. We put some rams out, uh, I think it was day before yesterday maybe. There was uh, about 400 ewes in that bunch. And now we're going to take uh, a couple more of these two uh, Kiko bucks. So I picked these bucks up from West Pinio. Wes raises good registered Kiko bucks. And I don't need the good registered ones here for commercial operation. But these are some that... Maybe wasn't quite good enough to bring top dollar for registry and things, but uh, we're going to put them, one of them will go with a group of uh, virgin two-year-old dolings that I have, and these, we're going to put him in there with about 50 head, and the other one we're going to put in a small herd. I've got another place, I think there's about 45 head. So I don't like to put just one buck out at a time in a certain place, but what we'll do is we'll leave these out and then we'll bring in maybe another buck for cleanup. And that way these two registered bucks, these Kiko bucks, can, can get uh, most of the breeding done. But if there should be a failure, if one of them's not doing his job, you know, we're still going to get some, some does bred. So I like to put out, oh, probably one buck per 30 does, one ram per 30 ewes. And then if we, if we end up with a few more rams or bucks than we need, then we'll wait a little while. Then we'll take those on out, add them to those ones that's already out. Those are fresh bucks and they'll come in and they're ready to go. And they'll breed anything maybe that uh, the other bucks have got lazy and left behind. And it also keeps those other bucks on their toes. These, you get two new bucks come in there and they'll start breeding. Well, them other ones will start breeding again too if they are getting lazy on you. So it's just a tip there that you might uh, pay attention when you're putting your bucks out. If you just have one herd, you know, well then you just put them out. We like to start kidding around first part of May. I've, I used to be in April. I kept backing it up, backing it up. We would hit a cold rainy stretch. Even had a snow one time in April. Um, so now I get along best if I lamb and kid in May. And uh, I don't think my kids suffer any for it. I mean it's being smaller because they're not quite as old. You got the grass that's coming on, your does will be in better shape and they'll milk better uh, in May than they do in April. It, if you have any grass, it's real washy and it's just barely growing. So uh, that's what I do, right or wrong. I've kind of learned over time though, just don't put them all out the same day. So uh, hope you're getting your bucks put out. If you haven't yet, it's probably time to get going on it. Y'all have a good day.